Scorpio. <clears throat> this is your spiritual reading for December 2017. Um, I want to briefly touch on why there is no career and money reading for Scorpio this, this month. I actually attempted to record it twice and things went wrong. Um, I'm going to take that as a sign to not record it this month. I apologize to any inconvenience that this may uh, affect any of you. Um, but what I will say about your career and money, um, the gist of what I was getting from all of those readings that I did is that you need to do what you love. It's time for you to step out of yourself or your fears and do what it is that you love. Okay, which I feel is going to be expressed in this spiritual reading. So that's why I opted not to. Um, I just I just got the feeling not to do it. So I apologize to anyone. But okay, so in the center of your spiritual reading, you have the tower. The tower talks about things being knocked down. Okay, old beliefs, old structures, old ways of doing things because it doesn't support you. It's spirit's way of telling you that it's not working. So there needs to be some change. There is growth that needs to happen into your life. This is about being conscious and aware. It says at the bottom. Okay, of what's going on around you, of the signs, of the activities, of the offers. Okay, so you can continue to grow as a person. You also got play. And this is about not being so stuck in your own ways and kind of living the, the excitement of life itself. Not just the structure, but life. Seeing what life brings into you, being able to to learn from these experiences and these offers for you. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Exactly. These are these negative thoughts, these negative feelings. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate your warnings and I appreciate you trying to keep me where I am. Negative ideas and negative thinking keeps you safe. You have to step out of that in order to achieve the offers that are offered to you in the world or, or from spirit. Okay. So it's time for you to surrender those thing that thinking so you can grow as an individual. Okay. So you're too cards here because you had two fall out. You have the four of air and the 10 of water. Okay. The four of air, the four of air talks about needing to take a rest. Okay. Um, meditating before making decisions, things like that. But it's more about putting a rest to your old ways, your old thoughts, your old situation. It's time to leave them behind because now you're attempting to grow. You also have the 10 of water. It talks about contentment and rewarding family life, emotional and material needs being met and trustworthy relationships. This is where you're headed. This is where you're going, or this is what you need to have in your life. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's all about these opportunities. I feel like something is going to be presented to you. Life is being presented to you. An opportunity for you to continue forward is being presented to you. Okay. So in your tarot cards, you start off with the tower, which is interesting because you have that there. The tower card talks about things being knocked down. I feel like when I made these cards, the lightning strike, okay? The lightning strike talks about things hitting you abruptly. It's like, oh my God, this is happening. What am I supposed to do? Everything is different. Um, how do I proceed? And you initially want to scramble back to where you were in the past. Well, obviously it wasn't helping you grow. So that's why the lightning strike came in the first place. So you can move forward. Then you move into the temperance. I believe this is no, it is the star obviously because it's a star. 
and and the nine of pentacles okay so the star card talks about healing after the tower i think it's beautiful that that came out after the tower so it's about understanding what has happened to you letting go of those old situations and healing into a new sort of renewal for yourself the nine of pentacles talks about you being independent and prosperous thinking about yourself so this is a time for you to think about yourself your own growth where are you going what do you want that's what it's about you end with the knight of swords and the queen of pentacles okay now i'm sorry the king of swords the king of swords is about clear thinking this is about you standing in your truth what is true to you being clear on where it is that you want to go you utilizing your intellectual power you do have it but i feel like with the queen of pentacles you were focused on others or your home but now it's time for you to be more practical about where it is that you're going what it is that you're building for yourself and you're coming clear on that okay it's like your knowledge of the situation will not change, but you do need to nurture your own foundations. Okay. So we're going to end with the overall Oracle card as I do. And you have serendipity. Okay. So serendipity talks about opportunities aligned with readiness. The awareness of synchronicity, luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good, where your dreams and collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel of providence right now. As a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world, your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you very much. Thank you, spirit. So Scorpio, that was your spiritual slash career and money reading. Um, I feel like enough of that came out here. Maybe that's why I wasn't allowed to do the career money reading. I'm not sure. But thank you so much for your patience and kindness. If you would like a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link is in the description box below. I love you very much. Love and light.